An unprecedented outcome. Peru's president, Pedro Pablo Kuczynski, held on to his job nearly a week after a majority of legislators passed a motion to impeach him. When it came to the vote, Congress failed to get the necessary numbers to oust him. Flanked by his lawyer, Kuczynski faced Congress, he said, with the conviction of his innocence and the intention to show it. I come today at your request, ready to defend myself against a false and ominous accusation that can only be understood in the context of an unconstitutional desire to separate me from power. The congressional majority accused the 79-year-old leader of being part of the largest corruption scandal in Latin America. They said he lied about receiving payments from Brazilian giant Odebrecht, money the company and the president say are legal. But the political opposition didn't believe him. Mr. Kuczynski's lies turn out to be state lies, and they are the evidence that who's in charge of the presidency is not in capacity to continue serving as president. In a 30-minute address to Congress, Kuczynski said he's never received a bribe, that he's honest and transparent. His supporters said legislators didn't give him enough time to prove his innocence. The president hasn't had a chance to defend himself. Not even the worst criminals are treated like the president is being treated. Analysts said the impeachment put at stake not only the presidency, but democracy in the country. Outside Congress, demonstrators said they were afraid this was a coup in the making. The Fujimori party wants to control the government like in the past years and do whatever they want. And we won't accept this because the fight against dictatorship has been hard. Critics said legislators tried to remove the president without clear evidence of a crime or waiting for final results of the so-called car wash investigation. Now Kuczynski says it's time for a new phase for reconciliation to start. Mariana Sanchez Al Jazeera, Lima, Peru.